Hi, welcome to today's episode of Cooking at Home. Today we're going to be making a curry and garlic marinated shrimp with a tomato and avocado salsa accompanied by a pesto drizzle. Be right back. And we're back. And even though the pesto is just a small component of the dish, I want to show you how easy it is to make a homemade pesto. It starts with about one cup of pine nuts, a quarter cup of garlic, one cup of Parmesan cheese, a pinch of kosher salt, one cup of fresh basil, and a quarter cup of curly parsley. We're gonna put in the Cuisinart, get it running, and we're gonna put in about one cup of extra virgin olive oil. So let's get started. Garlic in pine nuts in Parmesan cheese, get our basil in there, and our parsley, and we're ready to go. Now we're gonna add the oil until we achieve a nice paste. Oh, it smells delicious. And now let's get into the next component of the dish, the tomato and avocado salsa. So what goes in our salsa is of course, avocado, tomato, the juice and zest of lemon, red onion, cilantro, extra virgin olive oil, and kosher salt. Let's talk about the avocado, otherwise known as the darling of the produce section. It has many uses, dips, salads, even chocolate mousse and brownies. It's loaded with vitamins and minerals, about 20 of them. It has vitamin B, vitamin C, vitamin E, very high in potassium, which is great for your blood pressure. It's high in fat also, but you don't be concerned, it's good fat. It has a lot of calories, about 50 calories per one ounce. So the recommended daily dosage is about one third of an avocado, a lot smaller than you would think. First, we wanna cut the avocado in half to get the seed. Wow, look how nice. Let's remove our seed. Remove the pulp of the avocado. I like to use large chunks in this salsa rather than dice it up fine. It looks much better. Next, we start with the tomato. Now when you're cutting tomatoes, let the knife do the work. Let the knife glide through it. Don't push down and smush your tomato. If done properly, you'll have some beautiful cuts. I love making salsa at home. I make a mango salsa, a pineapple salsa, a tropical salsa. I put it on everything. It's great with seafood, shrimp, salads. Now we move to the lemon. We wanna put just a little bit of our zest. So we wanna cut half the lemon, squeeze some of the juice in there. And now on to the red onion. Red onion adds some beautiful flavor and a nice pungent bite to go along with the sweet tomato and avocado. Start from the front and use the whole knife. Strunt, push forward, let the knife do the work. And next, a little bit of our cilantro. You just wanna rough chop this a little bit. That's about it, nice big leaves. And now we're gonna add some extra virgin olive oil and a pinch of our kosher salt. And this is my favorite part. Once all the ingredients are in, then we mix it up and watch everything come together. Look how beautiful that is. And now onto the shrimp. For this dish, I'm using 1315, which means there's approximately 13 to 15 shrimp for each pound. I'm leaving the tail on for a more dramatic effect. And we're gonna marinate them with just a little bit of sesame oil, some soy sauce, and some curry starter sauce. And I'm gonna chop up one clove of garlic. 
in it goes. Let's get the shrimp in there. Our sesame oil. Let's add our soy sauce and our curry starter sauce. So let's get these mixed up. Get those flavors all blended in. And you wanna let these marinate for about one hour. So we wanna let our pan get hot. We add our olive oil. And we add our shrimp. These will take about two minutes on either side, and then we'll be ready to assemble our plate. The sounds of the kitchen. So it's been about a minute or two. Flip them over, get some nice color on there. Let them go another two minutes or so. So it's been another two minutes on this side. They look to be done nice and pretty. Let those rest and cool off a minute and we'll assemble our dish. Now that everything's together, we have our pesto that we made, our salsa, our shrimp are cooked. Let's put all this together now to make our beautiful piece of art. First thing I wanna do is take our salsa. Now I've taken this ramekin and have sprayed it with vegetable oil so it comes out cleanly. We wanna spoon that in there. So we wanna press it in there a little bit. So when we put it on the plate, it comes out clean. Now here we go. So there we are, it came out beautiful. Let's get our shrimp. And I'll show you how we're going to assemble those. I like to get them twisted up like this. And then we're gonna place them right on top of our salsa. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And finally, our pesto that we made earlier. We just wanna drizzle that around the plate. Like so, beautiful. And then we wanna just finish it off with a nice piece of cilantro on top. And there we are. I hope you enjoyed this week's recipe. I got lucky, it came out great, it looks great. Enjoy and have a wonderful day.